it's not a biographical story. And it, it was a time when I was very young and uh, living with a couple of roommates and we had sort of a tumultuous time. I was trying to find an answer for myself as to why these people meant so much to me. I just felt like this is such a universal story that is going to appeal to such a wide spectrum. But then on top of that, it's set in 1979. <laughs> which is like a dream. The costumes, the hair, the sets. It's always fun to do period stuff in the 1970s. It's a great, fun period. Um, but it's also just a really sweet play. There's a lot of funny stuff, but it's really sweet too. And teaching the actors things like, oh no, no, no high fives. There were no high fives in 1979. It was a low five. I, I just wanted to bring them back again. I guess because they still tug at me. Basically, this story is about not to love yourself in a way that you can be who you are. Staying true to oneself we, is a huge theme in what that means in this day and age and these personalities around, um, around you. You are you. It's funny how relatable it is, even though it takes place in something almost 40 years ago. And it's still a coming-of-age story that I think we can all relate to, especially today. Uh, a major um, reoccurring theme within this is uh, anxiety. And anxiety doesn't know um, what year it is. Anxiety is ever present. And then also around uh, homosexuality and how we view that today. And although we are very much more progressive uh, in 2019 than we were in 1979, we've got a long way to go. There, there is humor in this because you have three completely different roommates. You would never put them together. You don't know why why they are possibly choosing to live together. We would hope that people come away feeling that the lesson is just accept who you are, warts and all, and, and be happy. 